Hello, Gemma. Nine, 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 nine. You reach for the sky. Look at you fly. Anyway, welcome to your mid January to <coughs> Jesus. The beginning of February of this yes, brand new current year. Pretty sure Jesus has longer hair, my love. But you can be God. No. His daddy. No. Why? I'm not trying to be a God. Would you want to be Jesus? Okay. Not acceptable to change my name? This is true, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts if this resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that has nothing to do with you, right? Right. So. Sorry, do the thing for you zodiacs. I think I'm gonna start laying cards out so I can see. I probably won't do them for my randos and shit, but for the zodiacs, yeah, because this is actually a little bit more easier to read. And it picks up a lot better for me. I never tried it before, so this is new. So this is all gonna be start being pre-laid out for you guys before we get started, and then we will investigate the happenings and such of your world, right? Also. Um, cross watchers and such, switch where you need to, because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Right? Right. Anyway. So, Gemini, you have the Ace of Pentacles rooted in something really valuable, and yet... But wait, have... now you want to awkwardly drop them in the floor the whole time. I know, right? Well, I still will. I'm going to be shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, someone's really upset about this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, which is weird, because the situation... we got the Nine of Pentacles right here. Somebody who's happy being alone, being single, whatever. She's got a super bat, right? Totally in control of that shit is the Emperor. So whoever this is, they are completely in their adaptation and facilities to be aware and be capable of anything. They take the action, you know, the Emperor. He, he knows what to do because he's done it all already, right? The Wants and Wishes is the um, Three of Pentacles Reverse, Gemini and Cross Watcher. Someone is not balancing themselves. Either you're wanting that from somebody, or something is going on here to where you feel like you don't want to perform for people anymore. Um, but for some reason, there's stagnation with that, right? Where in the obstacle and challenge, we got either you, a Libra, or an Aquarius doing some naughty knots here. And they're right up here, too, in the fear and. Fears and rejections. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, this Princess of. Swords or page of swords right here is acting like full on magician, just creating some havoc and shit, right? Being like, I am the adaptation. You know, you're the emperor and he's the magician, so who's gonna win? Um, the authority or the religious? Almost in a sense. Well, I even I don't even know if he would count as religious, but you know, it's whatever. Just go with whatever you think, right? Doesn't really matter. Either way, it's almost like they're opposites or something, right? Up in the Fears of Reductions, once again, this page is swords, but they're with the star, healing. Someone wants to heal, but they also want to, like, just cause some havoc, once again. And the person who's causing the havoc is in the magician power. They're manifesting this shit, right? How this shit starts, how to end, someone gets their wish, but they're very impatient when it comes to getting it, too. This is all leading to a Three of Swords energy with the beginning theme, right? Separation. Um, feeling the heartbreak, but possibly being able to use that heartbreak to create something artful or artistic or interesting, right? Right. So, this Ace of Pentacles Gemini. Why is this Queen of Cups so nettled? Because something worked the way it always has? Like, are you mad that someone's giving you an offer, or is it a water sign that you're dealing with? You know, we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries. Well, technically, the magician makes everybody, but we won't count him for now. We definitely got Aries. We have Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on the board right now. Mmm. And there she is again. What's the next pinnacle she's not happy about? But then something works the way it used to, so she turns her back and is just like, I'm calm now. I'm bored, but I'm calm, but I'm not looking at you. Very strange. She just wants the goodest boy ever, you know? Ten of Pentacles, like... And this ace makes another nine. So it's like, as long as she gets what she wants, it seems like, 
she stays the emperor and stays in power. It's like someone wants to nip that shit in the bud. That might be you, Gemini. You might be like, you know what? I'm going to just fuck up your day. This emperor right here, they're not much of a provider. They keep secrets. They like to lie. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And they're about to lose control. They're not doing their job. They're not keeping things around. It's like it's a spoiled fucking brat. But it's like eventually they're going to be losing this control. It's like it, it, it's slowly but surely slipping out of their fingers, you know? This King of Swords might lie. He might manipulate in order to keep whatever. Or he might be trying to do certain things in order to rip control out of somebody else. So I'll never... I don't know. I don't know. Um... Uh, Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Like, someone does not want something to work. They don't want to perform for people anymore. But there is stagnation in that result. It's like you can't. Or you can't halt from it happening. You know? And it's because someone keeps coming up with their sweet, sweet, like, no shoe wearing ass. And being like, come in my cave. It's nice and warm. And you can fit your entire body in it. And it's just like, how many hot dogs can I throw down that hallway at one time? Says Gemini. <laughs> Yeah, this person who wants to tempt you into this shit, you know, they might be causing a lot of people to come against you. Once again, like, you know, Page of Swords, it's kind of a mouth. It's not as mouthy as, like, the Page of Wands, because the Page of Wands will at least walk up to you when he's reversed and be like, hey, use a bitch, you know, come up. This, you know, it, it's the energy of communication. It's not the need of taking action. It's the mental stimulation, right? This person will just go around saying whatever just to get people's, like, brains going and let their imaginations do the work because they don't have to it's like i could just say that like you know i'm sorry about her std and people be wondering like what std and then it'll be like the game of gossip you know that could be actually rather dangerous down in the obstacles and challenge princess of swords also the page of swords acting like the magician creating some crazy here right because they feel trapped in the situation or you could Gemini and Cross Watcher, and you're trying to figure out how to be cordial in this? Is that page? Is, is this Earth sign, this page, like offering you something? Because I feel like if they offer you something, you're still gonna have to deal with their mess. Like they come up to you as a page, but they wanna act like a king. Uh, yeah, and it's leaving you pretty bitter and demanding. There's his counterpart. You or your person, Gemini and Crosswatcher. It's like they just give you a little bit and then just start demanding for a bunch more, which is creepy. Let's see. Fears and rejections, right? Yeah, someone's definitely feeling trapped. Because, like, even though the ocean's filled with a multitude of fish, you know what else is in the sea? Trash. There's a lot of trash in the sea. That's what's there. That's what makes you feel trapped. It's like you can't find anybody else. Or they can't find anybody else. Or that's the fear that you're going to be stuck here with somebody who, um... Constantly runs their mouth about you when they're not happy with you, I think. And get people to think terribly of you, in a sense, too. It's like, will you leave me the fuck alone? How the shit starts, how it'll end. Someone wants to make their wish come true, but they're being really impatient about it. And, you know, boom, there's a vol volcano. Everyone's, if someone has the passion to fight somebody else off, and that person is going to die or die with them. One of the two. In order to end this um, old relationship that I think you guys know is, is something might explode and you guys might lose your shit and instead of this person backing off like you think they will they're gonna match your energy so you're gonna match theirs more like I don't know Gemini sometimes it's like you'll start agreeing with the person because you want them to be right but uh, not like a, a, a Libra who pretty much says the exact opposite of everything you say right but you guys will actually continue on with that energy. But if someone keeps bucking you back, you keep bucking back. And that can be disastrous if you don't know how to stop. Or if someone yells at you, one of the two. Because sometimes all somebody has to do is like say something really cutting in, in order to confuse you. 
or they give you a time limit to have something dumb done and they just freak you the fuck out and be like, ah, how am I going to do this, you know, sometimes. That control freak, though, is going to have a broken heart. Yay. Let's see, Gemini, we're in a situation where this queen is working shit the way she used to in order to keep her back turned and not pay attention to you. She's going to have to um, drop that shit, whoever this queer it is, in order to make things work. It's like they want things to work out the way they were before, but the only way it's going to work is to drop things and actually put the effort in themselves. Yeah, Gemini, I think you're dealing with... Gemini and Crosswatcher, I think you're dealing with somebody who smears your name in order to justify the way they treat you. And then it's like, when they, you keep letting them do that, people start believing them, you know. Like, this motherfucker thinks it's fair. Absolutely fair. But it's choking out their line instead of, um embracing it you know like someone might just choke out the lion like the lion's probably gonna get choked it could be with a leo but it's like this person doesn't know how to stop with their vices and shit wants and wishes gemini there is no more excuses for this shit because it doesn't work anymore someone fucks it up Ooh, wait a minute hold up let me look at this again yeah, there's something that you don't want to perform for anymore. It doesn't do anything for you. This person keeps trying to tempt you to keep performing. And if you don't, it's like you feel like people could come against you for it. Be like, if you don't do things the way I want you to do them, if you don't fall for my like hot dog down a hallway like traps, I'm going to make everybody hate you, right? However, it seems like that shit might come to an end because they fuck up somewhere. Like, their tricks don't work anymore? Or maybe it's you doing these tricks. Either or. Right? Oh, there comes the sun. Hopefully that is... Uh, that doesn't help me, but that's okay. Anyway. Let's see. Here's obstacles and challenges. My apologies. Um, this right here is causing someone to be like an animal cage. It's just like, I don't give a shit if I die, but I'm going to take all of you out with me before that happens. Mm. Yeah, because it's like you got nowhere to go, or this person's got nowhere to go. Yeah, this person has nowhere to go, because they know there's a lot of trash in the sea. Gemini, it's almost like Gemini Crosswatcher, it feels like this queer it controls you, but that's because they know you ain't got nowhere else to go, or they try to control you without you understanding that they don't have anywhere else to go because no one wants to put up with that shit, you know? Fears and rejections, feeling trapped because there's a lot of trash in the sea, you know? Trying to be gentle with your decisiveness while you try to figure out what it is and is not going to be cut out. Ooh, pairing. Both counterparts here. You could definitely be dealing with another air sign. Like, one wants to be gentle about cutting things out. The other one wants just to put their sword down and speak some truth. Right? Or you could be doing the both of these Gemini, because literally this, they're both could be your cor cards. And then there's your card, where you're just like, nah. This is like, you guys might actually end up communicating some truth to each other. But it's also like, you know, um, this is not good for us. You're leaving me disgruntled as fuck. But whatever, you know. How shit starts, how it'll end. Someone really ready to just beat the shit out of someone they've had a connection with and just separate. Yeah. Someone was ignoring her intuition and now they want to act like, you know, like, oh, I didn't see this coming. Yeah, you did, bitch. Yeah, you did. You're the high priestess. You see everything. Someone was acting like they didn't see this shit coming when they really did. I think it's just got to 
keys in her hands now. But this person used to make you happy. And the happiness helped stop the tower. But there was a lesson that was learned previously. But it's like, you're using that happiness between the two of you from keeping it from happening again. And yeah, it's a lot of work, but you're definitely valuing the work. And you just want to take what's yours and like, you know, let the rest grow the way it's supposed to be. But I also feel like this shit was growing for a while, you know. And the tower is right here, too. But it's reversed as well. Shit, it's been avoided for a while. Hmm. <sighs> Strange. Who that off? Who that? Who that offer in a pentacle? Because we got the ace pentacle over here. It's like someone's not surprised that someone wants to try to come up with a peace offering, too. That ain't gonna work. It's just like, no, 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 no. Of course you're gonna offer me something. I, you always offer me something. I'm not gonna, I'm not, act, I, like, this person wants to act surprised, but they can't. It's like, oh, I didn't see this coming. Actually, yes, I did, because it's almost like they do this every fucking time. I don't know, Gemini, but that's what I got for yours for this cycle. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to, but I greatly appreciate it. Right? Right. Um, you guys try to have a good day. I love your faces, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.